All right, so now step four is to overlay video graphics on top of your video. Now, as we covered before, there are many ways to do this. Some of them include Creative Commons, some of them include picture slideshows, and some of them include Pictory, which is a game-changing software that I'm going to show you here in a second. So let's just go through these one at a time in case you want to do one of these or, you know, maybe all of them and combine them all, right? So, for example, if you want to do a picture slideshow, we're going to use the same example Bitcoin script here. If you wanted to overlay a picture slideshow, we could go somewhere like Google, we could go somewhere like Pixabay or Pexels, as you see here, that's like royalty free images, and we can just type in Bitcoin, right? And then we can download all the Bitcoin images here, one at a time. And I'm not going to download too many, because you're going to get the picture very quickly. And then what we want to do is we just come back in. And we're going to add all these in a video editor, okay? So obviously, if you don't have a video editor, you can use Shotcut. It's 100% free. Just Google Shotcut and download it. Or you could even overlay your voiceover and use PowerPoint. Just each slide is a new image. It's a very easy way to do it. I've seen people do it that way. Or what you could do is just use a video editor like I'm going to show you here. It's also very, very easy. So one of the things that you'll that you'll notice is super crucial when you're using a video editor and makes your life so much easier is every single time you come in, you don't have to type in the specific, uh, you know, ratio, just have like relative templates, right? You'll see I have templates here. If I want to make a tall video, like a TikTok video or a YouTube short video or an Instagram reel, that's 1080 by 1920, then I'll use this one, right? If I want to use a normal YouTube video, that's 1920 by 1080, the opposite, then I'll use this one, right? Drag it in. And then I know that every single video, I just need to, every single picture, excuse me, in every single video, I need to overlay. So it's this specific shape and this size, and it makes it so much easier, right? That way, you know, it fits. Now, an easy way to actually get templates, if you need to get them is go to Canva. It's 100% free, create a design, and then you can literally type those sizes in, right? 1920 by 1080 or 1080 by 1920 to get the tall one. Or you can just download a template here. Like you'll see on the homepage, there'll be like whiteboard templates or YouTube templates, right? Like social media, just download an image that fits that specific mold and then use it as your template. It's very, very easy. And it's also free. So we downloaded pictures if we were going to use a picture slideshow. So let's overlay that example. Um, did I keep it in there? I don't think that I did, but let's use this uh, example. So this is an example of a voiceover script from the past, but let's pretend that it's this one. And if I wanted to overlay video script or, um, and if I wanted to overlay pictures on here to create a video script, again, what I recommend that you do if you're going to do this is overlay a bunch of them and then make them change uh, very, very quickly to keep your audience engaged. So if you just select them all at once and you drag them over, it will all put them in there, right? Now, an easy way so you don't have to drag them all so that they fit is come back, grab them all. Again, this is Power or this is Premiere Pro. It's going to be very similar in pretty much every editor. Select them all so that they're highlighted and then right click and go scale to frame size. And that should bring them all relatively down so that they fit the image. Now, if it really matters to you, you can drag them out by selecting the image here and just drag them out slightly. That's not going to matter that much, but obviously you can do that. And I'm just going to leave them like that for the sake of showing you. And now it's going to be like an, an image and you can even dr like drag them a little bit more if you want to kind of change the, the pictures a little bit faster. Obviously the pictures here aren't going to fit the video script, but I'm going to show it to you. And you can just download hundreds of images and have them flash through, assuming that this script was about Bitcoin. I'll show you here in a second what the video looks like. That's how you can overlay, um, you know, images as a picture slideshow very quickly to keep the audience engaged. Obviously have visual visuals over your voiceover. So let's see what it sounds like. Again, this is not a Bitcoin script. But let's just pretend. Retailers are working overtime to get ready for the quickly coming holiday shopping season. But this year's sales growth is predicted to be limited as customers adjust to their tighter budgets. According See, you get the idea. Obviously, you'd probably want to change these pictures a little bit faster, maybe like every two seconds or so, and then export this as a video. And that's a really easy way that you can do it. All right. Now, the next way is to use Creative Commons. So just the same. If we didn't want to use picture slideshows, we could come to YouTube. We could type in something like whatever our topic is. Obviously, our topic, for example, is Bitcoin. So we'll type that in. We want to make sure that, again, we have the Creative Commons filter on after we type that in. And now we're just going to select a video that we think is cool that has Bitcoin overlaid into it, right? Like 
you'd have to look at some of these videos to, to pick through which one actually has decent graphics, but let's just pick this one for the sake of showing you. Obviously, it yes, might it not have some decent graphics. Let's check it really fast. And so you could use like the graphics on any portion of this video if you downloaded it. Um, obviously, this isn't the best one, but just for the sake of showing you, assuming that we found a good one, you would then copy the URL. You would take it into a YouTube downloader. There are so many online. This one right here is ytb.rip uh, slash en slash. And there's a bunch of them. You could just Google like download YouTube videos and a bunch will pop up. You paste the URL in, you click start. It should slowly download the video. And then sometimes it messes up. So you just need to download it for this specific one. That one worked right there. Wait till it pops Hello up and, we'll and then download the video. And then it should pop up down here and start downloading here in a second. And then we can use this because we know that this is Creative Commons. So we can use this as a portion of our video. Again, you don't just want to overlay the entire video because it's not going to be, well, this one's a bad example actually because it's 31 minutes long, which is kind of annoying. It's kind of moving fast. So we're going to jump to when this is done downloading. All right, so it's downloaded now. We're going to put it into Premiere Pro. And we're going to overlay it. Obviously, you want to rip the audio that's out of there. So we're going to unlink them and delete. It's okay if you don't know any of this or you don't want to learn this. It's totally fine. You don't need to. I'm going to show you how to use Pictory, which is a game changer here in a second. Delete all these out. And drag this down. And now we can just overlay this and use this person's clips in this video since we know it's Creative Commons. Now, obviously we don't just wanna leave his video because it has to mesh together and it has to look you know, relatively similar. So we'd use portions of this video that are relevant. We'd cut them out. Maybe for example, like we figured out that this part's relevant and we cut this out and we drag this over and then maybe we want like this portion of the video you know, here you get the picture, but that's how you can use Creative Commons, obviously, and overlay their video and their video graphics on your voiceover. Now, obviously, you'd want to mesh this together, make it look good, and you can use different Creative Commons videos. You don't just have to use one and like keep the entire thing rolling. That's, in fact, what you don't want to do. But that's another method that you can use is obviously Creative Commons and then mesh their video together um, with other videos so that obviously you want clips of Bitcoin content on top of your voiceover that's obviously already a video video makes it really easy for you to create videos that way. Now, the last and final way is my favorite, and it's actually a complete game changer, and that is to use Pictory. Now, I'm going to put a link to try Pictory 100% free attached to this lecture. So download the attachment. It's a Word document, and then click the link in that Word document to take you to Pictory. That will give you a free trial, so you can try this 100% free, all right? This software is a game changer, so all you need is a video script, right? We already created the video script in a previous lecture. I showed you how. Now we're gonna take it into Pictory and we're literally just gonna paste our video script in here. Title's gonna be a history of Bitcoin. And it's gonna turn our script into a video by pulling from millions of pictures that it has uh, royalty-free access to, right? So you don't have to worry about using any of these images. It's going to literally create our script into a video using the hundreds, of, or sorry, the millions of pictures that it already has access to. You just simply pick a template. So we'll pick this one for this example. And then obviously you want it sideways. If you wanted to use like a TikTok video or you wanted it tall, you'd pick that one. And then just let it do its work and it'll create the video for you. So let's see what it looks like. So it's going to create the video for you based on some of the pictures here and videos here that it pulled. As you can see, it overlaid the text, it timed it perfectly, and it also pulled a number of pictures that fit the Bitcoin narrative. It literally pulled them all from its data point already and automated the entire process for you and created the video for you with relevant graphics already on it literally within like a minute, okay? It's a game changer. Then the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to upload a voiceover that you already created. Now I showed you how to do this in a previous lecture. Obviously we didn't create a voiceover for this specific script here, but if we did, we'd upload the voiceover, we'd drag it in, and this is a different voiceover, right? So you'd want to add this, then you'd click. I'm not going to actually do it because this voiceover doesn't fit this video, 
but we would have already created that as I'll show you. And in the next lecture, I'm going to run you through the entire from like A to Z from like step one to creating the, uh, the uh, video script to then recording the voiceover to then running it through Pictory. And then what you'd want to do with this step, once you uploaded it is you click entire video, you'd let it process. And then it would overlay the video script 100% automatically time it perfectly and then create a video that looks exactly like something like this. So this is an example of a video from before that I've created. Are working overtime to get ready for the quickly coming holidays. As you'll notice, as we move through this, I'll just show you like 30 seconds of it. As an example, you'll notice that it has the voiceover that we created. That's automated. It overlaid relevant video graphics that, you know, it pulled automatically using this and it overlaid captions, which you can turn off if you want, but I think that they kind of help uh, increase audience engagement uh, in a future video. I'm going to show you how to actually, you know, create better looking captions if you want to go that route. But this is, you know, obviously creating videos very, very quickly and it changes the game for you because it takes your time out of the equation. You can now create pretty much automated YouTube automation videos within like a few minutes, just using this kind of strategy. So let, let me show you like 30 seconds of this video and how it came out using all this automated process and pictory shopping season. But this year's sales growth is predicted to be limited as customers adjust to their tighter budgets. According to a number of publications, consumers are likely feeling frugal as a result of rising prices for food and other needs. The Bureau of Labor Statistics released a report on Tuesday showing... So you get the picture there. Um, that's kind of how it overlays video graphics. It overlays captions. And obviously the voiceover is reading it exactly perfectly timed in the background with the words and the pictures. Okay. It automated that entire process for us. Now it doesn't typically have these long of captions. This is just a long script. So it's got a bunch of long captions in here. Typically it'll have like, you know, five to 10 words on the screen at once and it'll flash through them faster. It just depends video to video, but this, this is a game changer of a software. So that's a bunch of different examples and a bunch of different ways on how you can create video graphics for your video. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how I go through the entire process and you'll watch me create a YouTube automation video from start to finish.